I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. Okay, I admit we've been kind of concentrating on the island reno lately, but I've got a lot more going on than that. Ooh. We started a bathroom a little while ago. Why are these dogs wearing glasses? Ring any bells? This is always nice. It's nice, it's just basic, right? Well, we got our tile samples, and here's what's been happening since. some back and forth about the tile scheme for the bathroom renovation. Mm -hmm. So first we selected the tile. Right? Yeah. I think that for cool you have to get this one. That's nice. We ordered the tile. The yeah. tile was ready for pickup and then the client said, mm, I think I changed my mind. So okay. then I called the tile store back and I said, scratch that, we're changing tile. So instead... Wow, it sounds like your back and forth is a lot more back than forth. It's been a bit of back, but now we've gone forth. Okay. I spent a hot late day there trying to map it out. Well, that's a dramatic change. Okay, so the space didn't get any bigger, but everything here is gone. And that's a good start for a day. Light fixture is still here. It's always nice to see the history. Look at this. We got a Tiffany blue accent. Yeah, yeah. These are my tile samples. Do you want to play actualization, visualization? Because that's all we can do right now. Okay, this is the winner for the floor. And then, watch Sarah think. Try and figure this out. This is the front edge of our tub. What I'm thinking we can do is four rows of tile. Then we do a black row of tile. Then we do a soldier course. Then we do a little black marble listello. Soldier course again. Then we do black. And then we just continue on with our tile. And we will definitely hope that when Bill installs it, he installs it much straighter than Sarah draws it. So if we start from the top of the tub, we can go with four courses of tile. Then we do a decorative black band that will run all the way through. Then we do what's called a soldier course, and we run these on top of that. We stack a black marble listello. On top of that, I've run out of hands. Okay, let me try that again with slightly less black. Here's what we've decided. We are gonna run a course of the black tile, a soldier course of our light tile, a single row of this amazing Carrera bullnose, another row of soldier tile, another row of black, and then above that, we just continue on up to the top with our wall tile. In all the years I've been doing this, there is one thing I know, and that is it doesn't work the same to lay it out on paper, for me personally, as it does to actually get to be in the room and to figure it out with all the existing site conditions. We have a window, we have a windowsill, we have the height of the tub, we have to consider the height of the vanity, and I personally would always rather spend the time breaking tiles to make this work, because now I can really visualize it. So here's what we've come up with. I had to smash one of the tiles in order in to In order to show out. what you needed to do, yeah. So the idea is we're gonna use black in yeah. the long bars to create a band. Okay. Part of the challenge is that we ended up with some tricky considerations because of the height that the vanity will sit. And we want this decorative accent to act as the backsplash. Yeah. Right? So the soldier course is gonna create a really nice backsplash mm -hmm. behind the vanity. So it'll line up nicely with where the vanity sits. That's right? Good. Yeah, yeah. And so I like then it when that works it's out. capped with the Carrera Listello. Then we move down here, and this is all just rows of tile. Stacked, not ashlar. Don't know. I think that maybe ashlar might be better for the size in 
in the shower stall. Because of the bitsies. Because otherwise you're gonna end up with all these bitsies and nothing's gonna align. So okay. I was thinking that we just go Ashler below. Yep. So this is a little bit contemporary and a bit traditional. It's an interesting point. When you do use the Ashler pattern rather than the stacked, it's a bit more forgiving. Right. The stacked really should line up with your corners inside and out. Whereas Ashler, you can have little tiny pieces and then full pieces and it still looks natural. And it looks okay. It's intentional. Isn't it fun just waiting for me to draw it? No, but okay. it's important because I'm trying to visualize this and it makes sense now. Right, so this now was the idea it. that you would get this great border all the way through because I think the soldier course combined with the black shiny combined with the Carrera chair rail is what actually then connects it to our floor which of course mm -hmm. is the basket weave with the black and the Carrera. I love the way that everything's contained. Okay, so now here's the problem that we have. Oh, Are there's you a problem? Ready? I thought this was just a fun sort of like, look what I'm doing and I can just say, yay, love it. No, this is, you're here to help. Okay, so now here's the problem. Okay. This is our control valve oh. for our shower system. Okay. So the problem is that we now have a Listello mm -hmm. dying right into the edge. Of your plate, which is your trim kit for the control valve. Exactly. So okay. now we could return the Listello yeah. so it creates a nice detail, a little return, just like you would return a piece of trim yeah. and have it end into the cover plate, okay. which I think would be discreet and could look nice. And it's like, hey, yeah, we know that this is happening. Right, right. And you're gonna, you'll have to create a And then it's a not as much edge, of an interruption, yeah. Right? So that's completely doable is that they just miter the piece mm -hmm. to make it nice. And it just ends that way, yeah. Or we leave it where it is and we take this whole row and we shift it up so that it clears this. But I think it's gonna have to shift up. I think that it's gonna be hard to not have it hit something somewhere. I just feel like moving this up, like Isn't it's already same. an interesting, visually busy, mm -hmm. but cool looking detail. If you start to like, if you start to stagger it, then is it going to look really messy and busy? I'm worried about that. I'd rather find a solution. I think, to me, if it's one or the other of the two solutions that you've given, then it's this. Because it keeps the detail and you don't have to like do something different there and add yet another element to something that's already intentionally meant to be patterny and visually interesting. Visually interesting fast becomes busy and messy if you let yourself get carried away, you know? Like, I say keep it simple. Right? So I think this will work, the returning. Okay, let's see if it works. It has to really line up, but we have a really good Tyler. So I don't, I have faith in his ability to execute this idea. Yeah. I don't think I'd do it if it was like, my Uncle Bernie doing the tile job. Your like it's a Bernie bit of an tile? advanced maneuver. I don't actually have an Uncle Bernie. I was just like I know. pretending. Right? But I, don't, I don't have anybody in my if world you, who does If that. you have a relative like Bill's who's doing like you a uncle. favor on a weekend. No, but Bill is skilled. I know. Uncle Billy. Yeah. Skilled Uncle Billy. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Which is what you want. Because that, everything that you're asking him to do here is an advanced maneuver. This is not a standard tile installation. But it's gonna be the thing that takes, you know, the bathroom from glum to glam. Like it's gonna look really cool. From glum to glam, I'm gonna write that down. You love alliteration. Um, glum. I can always glam. impress you when I use alliteration. I know, right? I'm so impressed by alliteration. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you.